I'm Tony Parisi, head of VR and AR advertising innovation at Unity. Uh, folks may know about Unity technologies already, but in case you don't, um, we are a dominant platform in creating mobile uh, games, console games, PC games, known as a game engine technology. Though over the last four or five years, we have sort of transitioned into becoming a real-time 3D platform for both creating and operating your business. There's a lot going on there, and we found that AR can be a really effective advertising tool. So I moved into the ads group and for the last three years I've been spending my time mostly thinking about brand content, storytelling and advertising in AI. Different industries must require different tools, right? There's gotta be some sort of modification or inside of uh, Unity that helps a specific industry get there faster, right? Um, yeah, so I mean, this is what we're seeing happening. So we found a lot of organic interest, for example, in the auto industry. And you know, looked up one day and there they were, there was an innovation lab and they had million dollar old school VR headset setups and these, you know, big expensive software packages. And then some smart people in the innovation lab at one of these auto companies said, well, couldn't we just use a game engine and put this stuff on an Oculus now? And it's going to be way cheaper. And in fact, we started having conversations about what tools would help them get their job done better and faster. So that's where we're at. We're on this, this precipice of, of getting to a place where 3D is going to make the user experience better all of these industries. And, uh, and AR really is the driving technology behind this uh, you know, huge fast adoption, mainly because everybody has a mobile device. Everyone's walking around with an AR visualizer in their pocket. There is huge interest in AR. I mean, so from my lens, being in the advertising uh, business for Unity, I can just tell you anecdotally that we've gotten to this place in the last year, year and a half, where the ad agencies and their customers and the creative agencies that serve them and make the content they all need an AR strategy. Do you remember, do you remember there was that thing five or six years ago with mobile where, where you know, yeah. digital advertising needed a mobile strategy? And of course, I'm putting it in air quotes because no one knew what that meant when it first started. <laughs> they just knew they had to get there. So we're there where they are right now. Like you said, there's a billion plus of these things now that can do decent AR. It's not about yeah. just being in a HoloLens. Those are great devices. It's not about being in VR and an Oculus Quest or whatever these other devices are now. Those are great and they will hit that scale someday. And someday we'll have glasses that look like the ones you're wearing. We'll have these great smart glasses. <laughs> but the action is here now. And when you're an advertiser and you can reach some of the brand content on every one of these or most of these around the world, 2020, we're tracking for $1.4 billion in advertising spend, just advertising in AR. Wow. So we're just going to see more of that. Unity, we, we play in that area and we're, we're growing, but that's, uh, you know, that's a place where just it's indicative of the level of interest. And that is everything from the awareness, hey, look at this cool product, just the cool factor and engage with it, to in some cases, people are transacting, they're actually buying the thing right in there. And so it might wow. start as an ad unit, but it you know, becomes an experience or there's an ad placement that encourages someone to open it and then they open it and it's like, try this thing on, like makeup or pair of uh, sunglasses, you know, and so and they can order it <laughs> and then they can order it right there, but they buy it right there. You know, it shows up yeah. now here we are in you know, COVID times and people are shopping more online and it's actually going to drive this even faster. So David, what is it that visionary 777 does? Uh, yeah, thank you. So the, our, our purpose is to develop software that is going to make people's life easier. So this could be from someone, and you're going to show this in a, in a second, how can I use uh, my own phone to learn about uh, invisible technologies that are sometimes very difficult for me to understand? Uh, how can I use mobile, uh, a mobile phone to uh, repair a machine in the future? How can I learn about um, connecting the physical to the digital world? Yeah, and right now, what you have is an amazing sales tool with this AR app that you have um, that can show people who want to know more information about something they're about to buy or potentially may buy. Uh, and this app can go in really deep into the details of the thing that they're interested in. Whereas, you know, in, in reality, when you're looking at the object, you can't actually inspect it the same way that you can with this app, which is why it's so revolutionary. Yeah, and the, the good thing is, as Right now, again, you're going to show this with, with, a, with a tablet, um, but in reality, we also have a second component to this app whereby you can actually download the assets onto your phone. And if you don't have the car physically in front of you, you can just scan your living room, 
put the car in your living room and visualize it. And that is amazing, right? In terms of oh, yeah. COVID, for example, we can't go to physical showrooms. Can we just bring the showroom to us? That's fascinating. Here's yeah, the showroom. It's yeah, right here. That's a showroom, yeah. The future showroom. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, so this is this is the, the model and the app right. works with this model, which is pretty amazing. Right. Um, yeah, it yeah. already it already knows that it exists and it knows where it's at yeah. and it knows how to yeah, visualize. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, that's that's one of the beauties and and many many features of 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 Unity as a software. So the idea that we can you know physically take an object and then of course there's there's other other technologies that help the the tracking of of the physical object, but that we can superimpose elements on it. All right, so now let's take a look at the app. This looks pretty cool. Um, right now I'm looking at the VC turbo engine. Uh, right. I'm looking at the model of a car, yeah. but it's also showing the engine inside the, uh, in the bonnet. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's quite extraordinary. So what we, what we actually do is we, we take the, the digital model of the vehicle and once the tablet recognizes the physical model, we can then superimpose data on top of it. When you're seeing there is the actual um, 3D data of different components of the vehicle. And that's what, going back to what we were talking about. With mobile technology, you can actually now visualize what normally has been an invisible technology. And you, and you said it yourself. Traditionally, you will have to literally cut this vehicle in half to see what's yeah. going on inside. Did you try the chassis already? The no, I did. I'm, I'm going to the highest strength steel chassis. Yeah, look at that. there you go. You so that's, right that's what's probably the sexiest thing. <laughs> Very <laughs> nice. Can, yeah, yeah, yeah. Having having that, um, you know, understanding of why is it that I'm paying for this vehicle? Why is it that it's going to save my life? Why is it, you know, what is the yeah. USP of this vehicle? It, it, it really is very hidden now. Techno technologies are, are becoming more and more powerful inside vehicles. But when you look at a vehicle, it's always, you know, four doors and four wheels and five doors. So this brings yeah. a, a, another level of storytelling. And, and, and it's pretty cool that it has a, you know, it has an opacity on it. So you can see it underneath the, underneath the actual car, even though the, it looks like it's under the car, <laughs> yeah. under the surface. Yeah, 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 you're right. I think that many of those things are, once you get to work with Unity, you will find that there are many things that you can do in terms of tricks of the trade to make things look more realistic. Um, and Unity is making it easier for people to, to get into the whole topic and you know, understand the ability of creating amazing visual experiences um, with you know, uh, traditional um, hardware as a phone or a tablet. Th that, is really, that is really interesting for sure. The ultimate aim would be, just imagine you've bought your vehicle, John, you love your vehicle, yeah. you're driving around, your vehicle breaks down in the middle of the highway. Well, what you can do now is you can take your phone, scan it, and hopefully in the future, all the sensors will tell you what's wrong with your vehicle. And you can then, it will show you step by step how to repair the vehicle. So the way I've been thinking about AR for marketing and sales like this is it, it's got both fun and utility. So the novelty and the cool, hey, cool, I can play with this thing and get the production value of 3D graphics. That is great for you know, getting people engaged originally, but then if you don't um, partner with the utility of being able to then find out more about the product and possibly just buy it right there, you're missing an opportunity. And the combination is incredible. But I think you've keyed on a third thing, which is that superpower. You enable yeah. a set of superpowers, which not only gives them fun and utility, but complete agency. Like people having that experience, it's very personal now. And they could go, if they want to go that deep, they can go that deep. Or maybe they just want to swipe and tap and see a couple of features and go, yeah, good enough. And when it comes to online shopping, you know, people having that choice and that agency is kind of key. So there we go. Yeah. So whenever we write that theoretical book, I think we'll have to write this chapter <laughs> together. <laughs>